can all of my hair fit into the frame. My name is Juliana and welcome to my channel Jujube. Today's video will be all about my hair, my heat damage, chemical damage, um, how I recovered all of that and got the hair that I have today. So um, I recently posted an Instagram picture, picture on Instagram showing my hair transformation and that got so many mixed reviews. One hair blog posted and it had at least like 25 comments saying like that's a wig, like that's a weave. If you subscribe to me, you know my hair is not a wig or a weave. You can see the scalp. You can see it. There is scalp. Now that we got that over with, this is all my hair. Um, I once had really thin damaged hair. I went through a lot of different periods with my hair and it took a while for me to get this thick hair that I had now. I used to wash my hair before school and I would flat iron it. I had a wet to dry flat iron. I would flat iron it while it was wet, dripping wet. I would flat iron my hair. That is horrible. I would use like olive oil to straighten it and then I wouldn't moisturize it at all after that. And I would use relaxers on my hair, bleach on my hair. One time I even bleached my hair twice in one day. Um, just doing horrible things to my hair, dyeing it and relaxing it on top of it. And my hair just broke off. It was broken off, short, thin, damaged. And for the longest, I just thought that's how my hair was. Come to find out it wasn't like that and it took me a while of taking care of my hair and really nourishing my hair back to health for it to get to its true capacity. The first step that I took was to eliminate heat. Now that's not the very first thing that I did. It took me a while to actually eliminate heat but that is the number one tip that I recommend for anybody who wants to grow long and healthy hair. If you think about heat um, if you did something to your skin, you scraped it, it's living so it can grow back and repair itself. Your hair is dead. It can, once Whatever you do to it, it's stuck with it until that actual hair falls out of your head and you grow a new hair. Um, so it's very important to not do anything to damage your hair because once you do that damage, it's, irre it's irreparable. Is that a word? Irreparable. <laughs> so that's why I push no heat so I much. Like heat isn't that bad. I can grow my hair long with heat. Think about it. Yeah, you may be able to grow your hair somewhat long, but you never know how long you could have grown it if you didn't use heat. You might have bra strap length hair, or waist length hair, but you never know. You could have had hip length hair or almost thigh length hair. So. It's, you can't really say, well, I was able to because you didn't know how long your hair could have gotten in. Also, the next person, heat may not work for them at all. I know people who have damaged their hair the very first time that they use heat and they have heat damage. And some people use it plenty of times. So, as a rule of thumb, I recommend not using heat. I use heat once a year max direct heat once a year max and by heat i'm talking flat irons blow dryers curlers anything that has a really high temperature it took me a while to get rid of heat once i did my curl patterns change my thickness change my fullness change everything about my hair changed and my hair became a lot curlier getting rid of heat is very important if you want long healthy hair and to get it as thick as it can possibly be so the next tip is to get rid of chemicals like relaxers um dyes bleach Brazilian straightening treatments, all of those chemicals that are really strong that we put on our hair to change it to some degree. Whenever you change your hair permanently, you're doing some damage to your hair. You have to take apart 
some of the structure of your hair to get it to change. And by doing taking apart the structure, you're either weakening your hair or you're removing the parts of your hair that give it strength. Of course, chemicals are actually, in my opinion, worse than heat because they damage it. It can damage your hair almost immediately. It really does a great job at weakening the hair. The reason why it's number two and not number one is because people use flat irons much more often and feel much safer using it than they do chemicals. Everyone knows that chemicals are bad, that bleach is bad, but a lot of people think that it's okay to flat iron once a month or every other month. But that stuff really takes a toll on your hair. So I got rid of the relaxers, I stopped relaxing my hair. Then I stopped dyeing it and then I got rid of the flat irons. The next tip to get healthy, thick, longer hair is to trim off the damage or big chop. So I trimmed off all of my damage um, while I was transitioning, before I was transitioning. I always kept up with trimming off the damage of my hair. I would cut my hair from here to all the way up here. I did not care. I did not like damaged hair. A lot of times I didn't know it was damaged, but once I realized it, I would cut it off. After I was tired of cutting off all the damage because I was damaging my hair, cutting it off, damaging it again, cutting it off. I was like, I just want my hair to grow. And that's when I realized that relaxers to get your hair straight. I mean, if you're going from one drastic thing to another, you're really, really damaging your hair. So if you're going from black to dark brown, maybe not that much damage on your hair. If you're going from black to platinum blonde, you have to do a huge degree of damage to your hair to get it that way. So if you think about it, if you're going from curly to straight, you're doing a heck of a lot of damage on your hair to get it that way. So I realized that I was doing a lot of damage to my hair and that was part of the reason why I wasn't able to grow long. So once I got rid of the relaxers, I big chop June 2009 and my hair texture after that, my the health of my hair changed drastically. Before I was never able to grow my hair past bra strength length and the strands that actually did reach bra strength length were really thin and split up, up and down, all up and down the hair shaft. I went natural, my hair was able to grow to hip length. I just didn't believe that my hair could ever get that long. I thought that it was just maybe in my genetics that I couldn't get that long. But come to find out, it could. And it's because I got rid of the heat and the chemicals and the bleaching and the relaxers and frying my hair. I got rid of all of that stuff. What's the most important thing in healing your hair is not so much what you do to your hair, but it's very important what you don't do to your hair because you can do all the right things. But if you do one thing, it can reverse all of that and your hair can be damaged so it's very important to not do certain things to get healthy hair versus what you do 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 <laughs> so here are some of the things that i did to get my hair to recover because we talk about all the things that you don't do once you cut all of those things out the next step is to get the strength back in my hair that i had had been taken away from it from all of the damage so weekly protein treatments i just went to the beauty supply store and got like those little single packs and i did those like every week like one protein treatment on maybe tuesday and then a deep conditioning treatment on friday and i did those like every week or maybe every other week the thing that i did is replace all of those crappy products that i used to use with moisturizing products. I also was a lot more gentle with my hair when I detangled it. I used to just rip through my hair. Now I start from the very ends and I make sure that I get all the tangles out with my fingers before I go in with a comb because I really don't want to rip all of the growth out. You can have as much growth as possible, humanly possible, but if you rip it out during detangling, you really won't see any growth. So make sure that you're being gentle while you detangle your hair. That's something that I had to learn because I used to be so rough with my hair. So guys, those are my tips to get your hair from damaged 
too healthy you don't have to spend five hundred dollars on treatments you don't have to go to a hairstylist that's going to charge you like two hundred dollars to get your hair cut or get a special fancy haircut it really consists of taking away the things that are damaging your hair and replacing them with things that are good for your hair kind of like keeping your body healthy recovering from damaged hair is a lot easier than we try to make it to be it's really really simple i was looking for a magic product that would completely recover my hair but it really takes consistency and discipline discipline to not use flat irons and chemicals to straighten into your hair or to do a blowout it takes discipline not to do those things so if you are doing those things completely kudos to you because you're taking the steps to grow your hair long and healthy and just have patience i you have to wait for your hair to grow out hair will grow out so you just have to wait for it to grow out and soon enough, if you keep up the good work, your hair will recover and you will have no more damaged hair. So thank you guys so much for watching. Stay tuned because I'll have a video for how to get the perfect hair routine coming soon. I hope you guys have a great day and thumbs up this video if you liked it and subscribe if you haven't already. Bye guys.